Well, it took investigators about one week to get to the bottom of what they say took place at the Reach Partnership School in East Baltimore. Besides this video captured on a student's cell phone, investigators and school officials admit they didn't have much visual evidence to go on. There are cameras inside of this school which have uh, seen people inside of the building, but once you exit the building at that door, once the door closed, the camera did not catch anything. But police say interviews with the victim and a second witness were enough to charge Officer Anthony Spence and Severna Bias both with second degree assault and misconduct in office. Spence also faces second degree child abuse charges. Investigators say it's what Officer Bias said to Spence that led to the charges against her. In a police document, she says, you need to smack him because he's got too much mouth. That is uh, partially why I, I'm not going to go too much further into the evidence and other which you other than what you have in the what you've seen in the uh, probable cause statement. I'd rather let uh, state's attorney's office comment on any specifics. Officer Bias remains on administrative leave, but with pay, and she's not the only one. The city school police chief, Marshall Goodwin, is also on leave. It's a topic the school CEO was not eager to talk about. Uh, chief Goodwin is on administrative leave. Uh, and presently he will remain until a decision is made regarding next steps uh, for him. Can you say any more about what his role may have been, why he is on not at this point, Not at this point in time. But that won't stop the acting chief from moving ahead with the probe. We will continue to conduct the internal investigation into this incident and allow the process to take place and wait for the findings. Now there is no indication of how soon either of these cases will go to court. Live at School Board Headquarters, Tim Tootin, WBAL-TV 11 News. Tim, thank you.